so here is move out day ladies and gentlemen it really don't look like a for real move out because we doing this split move so it's only like you know half of the stuff in the house is being taken but mattress they'll be taking down our headboard just a couple boxes so that's the master bedroom then I got boxes in the hallway just master bedroom stuff boy stuff master linen closet things right here I still gotta put a few more cleaning products up in here this is how it's looking in there everything that's staying behind and the boys room everything that's staying behind is just out for the second part of the move we trash in both of the beds and here's their clothes and toys that we taken the closet is pretty much all cleared out besides our suitcase clothes right there uh, that is dead boys room we also take in their tv we're just gonna put it with us in the car because we are driving yes girl 15 hour drive and now to my beauty room all the boxes and totes ring light is what i'm taking all my hair products um all this stuff i don't know what i'm gonna do with this desk honestly i don't really want it no more so it might just get donated or sold or i don't know i don't want this desk and chair anymore i want like a new look for my beauty room so i'm getting rid of this but this is just all the stuff left behind that'll be coming with part two of the move closet is pretty much all cleared out except for a few things the kitchen it's a mess it's a mess but here goes some more cleaning products i'm gonna try to fit what i whatever i can in that box upstairs and then we have here just some office stuff kitchen stuff right there i only took my griddle blender the kids little waffle makers and yeah that's really it just our stuff and then got more clothes down here because I was washing clothes so yes these magic bags are life so much clothes in here that's a um, king size comforter right here just vacuum sealed down and there's a couple boxes here I guess our security system for our new house and that is a vacuum cleaner that is Isaac in the basket <laughs> so that's how it's looking down here that's our TV. We're gonna go ahead and take that now. <sighs> yeah. That's Ryan, a lion. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is it. Folks, this is our move out day. Part one of our move out. <laughs> I'm so excited. You excited, Isaac? We moving. You excited? <laughs> we going to Georgia. Wait, this dining room set is of course staying behind. We're not bringing this at all. So my husband will have to either just throw this away or sell it. And then, oh, excuse all the mess y'all. <laughs> excuse the dirty dishes, all the dishes. We are not keeping none of this stuff. So once my husband does his move, he'll have to take care of all of that, throw everything away, all our dishes. So yeah, all our little dishware that we do have, we don't really got much. We are donating or just tossing. None of this stuff is coming with. He'll be taking some of this stuff, just like, I wanna keep my little pot, not little pot, big pot, our juicer and our air fryer that's pretty much all that we taken from the kitchen <laughs> that is it and probably keep our knife set too because i like the knife set and of course our vacuum and swiffer will be taken in part two. Oh, y'all it is move out day what's up it's move out day i can't believe the day is finally here um well the day came earlier than expected because the movers um came at the beginning of our 
window so yeah the day's here where all our stuff is getting moved out i am so tired because i only got about three hours of sleep last night finishing packing and everything and then i had to wake up and finish because i didn't finish last night because i was so tired i was like you know what gotta finish in the morning good thing i got everything done before you know they come in but um yeah this is it i'm so excited i got the bed all wrapped up and this is my last few moments on my bed. I'm so sad. But I didn't plan on being without a bed for the for you know the amount of time we're gonna be without the bed because we scheduled the movers a couple days from now. But you know you how you give them a window, so they decided they wanted to come at the beginning of that window, and that's when they was gonna come. So it just had to work like that, and you know. They taking my bed, so I feel some type of way because I ain't going to have no bed. I'm going to be so uncomfortable. We got rid of our couch. <laughs> and low-key, I've got to regret that now. Even though y'all seen her, she is raggedy. She gone. She's in somebody's dump. But y'all seen her. She real raggedy. She was real raggedy. R.I.P. But, you know, like I feel like we should have kept her to like the last leg. Till at least like my husband, you know, completed his stuff and was doing all the throwaway stuff in the second part of the move i feel like we should have kept it until part two basically and uh yeah because we didn't think about that we ain't gonna have no bed for this like little um for this little period of time where the movers come and go to the new house because we're not leaving today we're leaving in a few days oh so yeah we leaving in a few days but our stuff is leaving today because that's just the way the schedule end up working what happened i don't know you went dead who is dead okay that's big, Mom. yeah we got plastic on the bed because they gotta move our stuff well what's that bed what's that bed oh that's so oh i want your baby oh gosh you better not rip it don't rip it <laughs> we moving the bed is about to go bye bye they about to come get the bed so yeah the movers should be here any minute i am just so glad i got everything like organized that's really what took up a lot of time i, I feel like i kind of underestimated how Mom, much stuff i had to Mom, not move huh don't do that don't do that Mom, the i don't know Get down oh, the clouds! Me. Oh yeah, the clouds. That's so cool. Get down my hair. That is a cloud. Ooh. Well, I saw all the clouds. Yeah, you see all the clouds. Uh -huh. That's so awesome. Well, I saw all the clouds. Yeah. Well, two clouds. <laughs> two clouds. One, three, seven. I will well, take you. But yeah, I underestimated how much stuff like I just had to go through and um, organize. Total, we got about 20 boxes, Mother, including totes. <laughs> so it's honestly not that much stuff, but just the organizing part. Like you, you should have seen the, the garbage bags my husband just took up out of here. Like that part was real. That's what kept me up all night, all morning organizing everything but i feel so good to like be organized and not have no clutter with me like i made sure i ain't got i ain't bringing no trash i ain't bringing no stuff i don't use i'm not bringing no crap no clutter in these boxes okay and so i'm just really glad that i got organized you know it feels good i feel fresh we're gonna you know be nice and fresh in our new house and i just feel really good about that i'm tired but i'm really happy that i got it done and I'm just so glad that this part is over. I'm I'm really glad. I was really glad that it's like it's 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 done. I'm 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 over it. Okay. I'm glad that these movers is about to be here in a couple seconds, honey. Take this stuff out. The next part of the journey is getting down there and unpacking everything. But I feel like that's the easy part. The the hardest part is the or declutter and the organizing and the packing. I'm just so so glad that part is over with. Um, I ain't gotta worry about nothing else. Yeah. The second part of our move will be done by my husband. He's going to have to throw, you know, go through his stuff and the rest of our stuff and um, declutter and um, throw things away and donate things. Lucky he ain't got to pack nothing because we, part two of our move, if y'all haven't watched that video, 
I explain everything. But part two of our move, the military, um, we letting them transportation handle that. So they come in and pack everything and all that. So he ain't gotta worry about none of that. But yeah, I'm just glad I'm done with my part. It's over with for me. I ain't gotta do no more packing. I'm done. And we about to be out in a few days. Like I'm so excited. I'm so excited that this, the days are finally here. Like, oh my gosh, I've been counting down for so long. I feel like, I feel like it's been like a year since I've been like really counting down, making plans and all of that. And now it's finally here. So I'm excited, I'm tired. I wish I could take a nap, but girl, this crinkle ain't gonna do it for me. I don't know. I wanna take a nap so bad though. So I'm gonna find some place to try to cozy up. Good thing I got this pregnancy pillow so where I can try to get a little comfortable. Like you, like you get sheep. What? It's sheep. You're so silly. I like say. you're a Come sheep. Here. You a sheep. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. You a sheep. You ready to move? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you excited? Mm -hmm. I like those stuff. You want to go to school? Uh -huh. That's all you've been talking about is going to school. Especially Mama, when we see Al off to school and... Oh my gosh. I feel like he gonna rip this. So yeah, anyway, this is move out day. I'm excited and I just I can't believe the day is Target. I'm. Mom, I am not at Target, Mom, girl. I'm at Wally World. Mama. Why I'm lying? What you want, Al? Looking at balloons. Eat, Mama. Okay. We at Wally World, 12 a.m. Me and the kid, and this is just a real life, um, moving vlog. <laughs> Trying to get an air mattress. You guys see some stickers? Oh Lord! I knew taking him was gonna be a little adventure, seeing everything and wanting everything. Oh, those are cool, Al. We'll get you some stickers when we leave, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> but we need to get um, an air mattress. Our room is empty. Oh my gosh. And um. Okay. But yeah, our room is completely empty now. So I need something to sleep on. I was like, I refuse. I cannot sleep on the floor. So I'm here to get an air mattress and just a few other things, like some snacks. Okay, get some snacks for our road trip because y'all know we are driving to Georgia, so that is a 15 hour drive. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, get some stuff to prepare for our road trip. And yes, honey. Oh, well, it's supposed to be a quick trip. <gasps> Every parent's worst nightmare the toy aisle. <laughs> I don't know what is that PJ you tell toys? me yep toys all types of toys mask. pj mask yep that's squishy pj mask that's a squishy oh that's so cool my what's my what's these um i'll let you know who that is you you watch the and show the and riff rip her mm -hmm. name is rip so what's that one it's a car, their PJ Masks car. Look at Pete the Cat. I love me some Pete the Cat. He's so super jazzy and cool. <laughs> it's Batman. Oh, Lord. It's Batman. Yep, Batman. Al, this is supposed to be an in and out trip. You're not a completely toyless. I did leave some toys. Oh, gosh. I did leave some. Yeah, it's a big cat boy. 
And a big outlet. Outlet. I left them a few toys out. Where's the big gecko? So they won't be bored. Where's the big gecko too? Oh, a gosh. big gecko too. You seeing it's everybody. It's a gecko car. A gecko car? You know you is trying it right now because I'm about to just say get one. Maybe. Hey, mama, what, mama? What's that? It's a nature on there. Okay. Hey, what's that one? Mm, I don't know. It's broken. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I resist. Wet too. Mommy urge, resist. Hey, mama, wait. Resist. Hey, mama, wait. <laughs> With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before